my brain just told me it's either now or never. It's either this is it or you stay here and freeze to death. Physically and emotionally, you stay here and freeze to death. I'm a Congolese Zambian kid who was born in Africa, grew up in Winnipeg, moved to Toronto, and now I'm making ballads. How I live should not have led me up to being the type of artist that I am today. It takes you going through some shit to, you know, really realize what you're here for. This is my moment. I ended up meeting Chubbs and, uh, at, at a Diddy party, and I met Lavish that day. They introduced me to Lavish. They played his music, and I'm not even going to hold you. It's some of the best music that I have ever heard. I don't know how to word this. It's not that I've, I never knew I could sing. It's more so I never thought I would get to the space or time in my life where I would show people. But Triz was just like, why don't you just try the, the piano by itself? The old me would have said, sample that piano and make a trap beat over it. But he's like, no, nah, like try like try singing. You know, he tried like actually singing. And I kind of just went in the booth and did what I usually do on beats, which is just mumble and, you know, that, that R&B, hip hop type of thing. And then out of nowhere came the hook. It was like Otis Redding was singing through me. I just found this voice, which was the, you made a big, it was the, the big voice. And that moment was just like a, whoa. That was a, the moment where I'm like, okay, let's take it a step further. When we were younger, we had a group called Reps Up. We were young, we didn't know what we were doing. Just going to the studio, whoever had money paid for studio time. And we're just kids from the hood that like really was trying to dream big, you know? But it grew into something. Preem had met Drake and uh, introduced us to Drake. We didn't know him back then, so Preem was rapping and Drake was rapping. Drake was really good, you know? So when I first heard Drake, I was kind of like, you sure you want to embrace this like that? Because like, he's really good. But yeah, it's the best decision we ever made. When I first got on the road, it was security, making sure he's straight at all times. You no, know, we went to New York first. He shot the video for uh, Best I Ever Had. He asked me to come to Miami. We went to Miami. And then he was just like, yo, why don't you just stay on the road? And I was like, 14 years ago. I haven't come off the road yet. How we live? In traveling with him and getting to know people and being around different artists and stuff like that, like, a lot of the time, I'll be forming relationships with them. He called me one day and he was just like, yeah, you know, like, you should really do this. So he kind of switched my vision. I was like, you should, like, really try to get a label, get into this music thing. I really believe in it for you. You're already doing it. You're just not really getting paid for doing that, you know? And it was funny because maybe a month after that, I found Lavish. Astro and another friend of mine, Wolf, sent me Lavish. He had a song where he went to a club and the promoter didn't pay him the right amount of money and he was pissed about it and he went home and made a song. The song wasn't the most amazing song, but the way he repainted that picture, I was like, okay, you are really good. And I texted him on New Year's. Chubb sent me a message and it was, whenever you're ready to work, let me know if you can get to work type of thing. At first, I kind of didn't believe it. You know, looking at the acne, you know, going, going to the page, yeah, everything checked out. So I flew him to LA to work in one of Drake's studio houses. I was terrified. I was just making music because I love making music. But now it's like somebody who's seen a lot, somebody who's done a lot, wants to work with a kid that hasn't seen and done anything. I'll do a run at the end. Like, play it. I didn't know where it was really going to go. I was going to make an investment financially, emotionally to this kid to make sure that he's good so he can record his best music. But I didn't know he was going to come up with what he came up with. In that time of him being alone in L.A., him and Triz, they came up with the best EP ever. So he's going you. He doesn't have a bubble, you know, so he can make opera. He sings everything. He still wants to rap every now and again. Sneak off with Gucci and get a rap song in. He'd like you'd have this stuff playing and then when I leave you and like Gucci would like <laughs> make like a rap record and jump around and shit. Don't hide it. Oh, hi there, bro. As you're making one of the best records it is, like, you ever heard. You know how I get, bro. I get, like, inspired. <laughs> you know, we hopped on the beat and we made a story of Gucci. I think a lot of kids fall into 
wanted to do what everybody else was doing. What he grew to learn was that this is not of the moment. This music's not just for now. So I had to like kind of push him towards that. Chubbs did push me in that direction, but it wasn't in a forceful way. It was kind of the ways where it's like, okay, you come from poverty. You know, your parents, you know, don't live the best life. You don't live the best life. You have the pen, you have the voice. What are you going to do with it? His music really made me believe in this too, you know? When I heard how good he was and like knew the potential of where he could be, that drove me even more. At that point, I felt like Tunji was the best guy for him. When we got on the phone, he was already excited. He was just as excited as me. It would like hit me out of nowhere. It was like, damn, like Def Jam, like it's still so surreal. I think it's because we, we, I work every day. It's hard to kind of sit there and take it all in. It'll hit me once, once the music is out. I'm just signed to Def Jam, you know, it fuck with me now. Having Chubbs by your corner is one of the greatest things an artist can ever ask for. It's, it's, it's one of the most caring people that I know. Like, I want you to be better and do better. Lavish from A to Z, you know, anything he needs, I'm, I'm there and I will continue to be with or without this music working. I'm just excited that he's able to have this opportunity, man. But this is not it. This is like the first stop on the long ride, you know? Baby, will me. We're out here in London. Maybe you'll hold me high. When Chubbs is doing his thing, he has some incredible artists like Lavish. You see this youth there? All he should do is just thank you for making him sing. Look at what I could care. Different one.